Hello and welcome back to Spring 2020, the fully online edition. Uh, not much will change for you guys since you were mostly doing your learning online anyway. Um, but I do want to go ahead and take you through a few of the things that may have uh, that have changed. So um, let's look at our D2L page um, and go ahead and go to content. This is where most of you were working already in your weekly modules um, with the, the chapter slides to use as uh, for note taking purposes as you read chapters. None of that will really change. Um, you'll notice here under course info, you've got a link to my appointment calendar and as well as uh, my virtual office, which is where class will now meet. We will not meet face to face. We will meet online um, in my virtual office. So uh, if you'd like to um, meet with me during my office hours, this is where we meet as well. Um, office hours, I've extended them. There are more hours that I am available now, but they uh, they are by appointment only, just so that I'm not um, sitting by my computer all the time waiting for someone to show up. Um, so make an appointment. When it comes time for your appointment, go ahead and click here and join me in my virtual office. Um, also, class will meet at the regular time that we have been meeting um, before that we're, our class is scheduled. Um, so for the Brunswick section, that's at 3.30 on Thursdays. And for the Camden section, that's at 3 o'clock on Wednesdays. Um, when you come into class, when you come into my virtual office, um, type your name in the chat screen. First and last name as it appears on my roster so that you can be sure to get your attendance points when you come in. Um, class will be exactly the same as before. We'll meet. I won't have lectures prepared, um, but I'll meet just to answer any questions that you may have. And if you don't have questions, feel free to pop in, type your name, and pop back out to get your attendance credit. That's totally fine with me. Um, if you happen to attend the section that is not yours, so if you're a Camden student and you attend on Thursday, or if you're a Brunswick student and you need to attend on Wednesday, that's okay. Just make that note as well. When you type your name, go ahead and write next to it to let me know, hey, I'm in the other section or something like that, so that I know which roster to look at to get you your, um, to get you your attendance credit. Um, okay, so You'll want to go ahead and click on your syllabus here. Syllabus and schedule both have been updated. On the syllabus, any changes that take place March 30th have been highlighted in yellow. So um, one of those changes, of course, is that we're meeting in the virtual office rather than in a physical space. We're completely online. So my office hours, as I told you, I've extended them. I have more hours that I'm available, but they are by appointment only. So be sure you go to the Calendly link make an appointment, and then meet me there in my virtual office. Um, other things are remaining exactly the same. You'll still have a module due each week. The weeks will begin on Saturday and end on Friday, um, just like they've been, been doing. Um, you'll want to note uh, that in a module, you may have more than one chapter due. So be sure you check those modules. Check your course schedule. Check those modules and complete all the checklists in that week's module if there's one or if there's two. Um, the other thing um, that you'll want to note, and I'll show you this in a second, is that all of your assignments now will be completed in D2L. The reason for that is that SmartWork 5 is not does not work well on a phone. Um, and some of you, I know your only internet access is using your smartphone. So um, I've moved all homework assignments to D2L instead of SmartWork 5. So I'm going to leave the rest of the syllabus to you. Um, go ahead and come over and make sure that you read through the syllabus, especially those things highlighted in yellow, so you'll know what's changed. Um, Let's go take a look right quick at the updated course schedule. So again, content and course info. Um, here's your schedule for the remainder of the semester. Um, as you know, we've actually lost a week of instruction because we've had these two weeks out and they've only added one week to the end. So you'll notice that I've had to stack some, some chapters. So um, you'll see that... Uh, Chapters 8 and 9 are both due this week, 
And then in the last week, um, you'll have chapters 13 and 17. So sometimes, like I said, you will have two chapters to complete in one week. Um, I've tried to arrange that in such a way that they aren't two super difficult chapters so that it still um, sort of balances out the workload. Um, you still have your two exams coming up. You'll see the dates for them here as well. Um, note that the, uh, the module that opens on March 30th um, actually doesn't close, is not due until April 7th. So that's not a, a Friday night. That's a Tuesday night. The reason for that is that March 30th was a Monday. So since we didn't get to start this module on Saturday, I've extended the date, uh, the due date till Tuesday so that you have enough time to complete it. But notice that does not change module eight. So module eight actually still opens on Saturday, the fourth, um, and then closes on the following Friday, the 10th. So there's some overlap between modules seven and eight. Um, other than, other than this week though, um, the week that starts March 30th, everything will start Friday or Saturday and end the following Friday. I have gone ahead and opened up all your assignments for you. So if you're other than your exams, so if you're trying to work ahead, I know a lot of people's schedules are kind of up in the air right now. Some of you may be in the same boat I'm in where you've got some kids at home that because schools aren't in session and that can mess up your, your scheduling and time to get work done. So if you happen to have a few hours to devote to it, I've already opened up homework for all the chapters for the rest of the term. So you can, while you have time, go ahead and work through as much as you uh, need to get done. So um, the due dates are set in stone for each of the chapters, but the start dates, I've actually got it all open already. So you could start at any point, except for the exams. So the exams will be in those um, weeks that, that they are assigned. Okay, so um, back to content. If we click to the weekly modules, we're way down here on module seven. So we've already completed exam two and we're on module seven now. Um, and notice it has two checklists. I just wanna go right quick through the checklist. They look the same as before. They have a section to read. Um, so you'll read the chapter in your textbook and then there's some videos to watch that cover some of the essential materials in those chapters. Um, and then at the bottom, you'll see your do section. And this is where, again, things are different. So there's a link to a chapter eight homework quiz, um, which is gonna be just a quiz in D2L. So um, you will no longer use SmartWork 5. Um, so each quiz, you'll notice you have two attempts allowed. So D2L doesn't have the feature that SmartWork did where I can give you multiple attempts on each individual question. So what I've done is I've allowed two attempts for the entire quiz. So you take, you'll take the entire homework quiz and then you'll get feedback. You'll get your results, you'll get your grade, and you'll also be able to see what questions you missed. You won't see the right answer, but you'll see what questions you missed. Um, and so then you can go back and retake the entire quiz again, and I will accept the highest of your two grades. Um, so that's how your multiple attempts is going to work now that we're over in D2L. And that'll be the case on everything except for exams. So exams, of course, you'll just have the one attempt. Um, so that's really everything you need to know. Really, the main changes here are that the schedule, of course, has shifted. Um, so go be sure you check out the course schedule and keep that handy uh, to be sure you stay on track. And everything is in D2L. Um, my office hours and our class meetings will be online using that link that's under course info. Um, and all of your homework will be in D2L instead of Smart Work 5. Now, please, please reach out to me, reach out to your classmates if you have any issues or any questions as we go along. Um, I know that this transition is going to be tough on a lot of us, um, and so I'm here to help. Please sign up for an appointment for my office hours um, or come on Wednesday or Thursday and get your questions answered or send me an email if you have a question that you need an answer to and it's not, um, it's not an office hour day or it's not um, a class day yet. So, But I am here to help. Reach out to me if you have questions or if you're having issues with um, technology or things like that, please reach out and we will get through this together.